How you feeling? Pretty good. Yeah? Yeah. Do you feel like you're getting closer? Yeah, I am. Actually, I'm, I'm doing pretty good. I'm walking right now. But I have questions. Uh, I feel like I just got to continue to get treatment and uh, continue to learn how to walk with me. That's what I got to be fine. Do you feel like you'll play in the holiday bowl? Yeah, I should. I feel like I will. I just got to continue to um, just get my treatment. That's pretty much the day to day treatment. And, and the trainers continue to just see the fact that I'm improving and I should, I should be fine. Is it a situation where you want to be 100% if you're going to play in the game? Yeah, yes, I want to be 100% you know, last game. And pretty much it'll be my last game with the guys. And looking forward to it. So oh, it wouldn't play if it was 90 or anything like that? No, I don't think I'll arrive. We got to be 100% for sure. How nice would it be to be 100% be able to play in your last game, you know, like you said, with the guys in the bowl game? Oh, it'd be, it'd be great. You know, get a chance to be 100% with the guys, you know, give, give them all. You know, my last game was just place to give all the Sunday with fans and everyone. You know, a great game before I leave. How disappointing has it been just to miss the last uh, couple games? Oh, it's tough. It's tough to sit there, sit on the sideline and watch the guys, you know, battle with me. The only guy I can do is the same thing to work, you know, I talk to DJ, I talk to the guy in trade. I talk to the guys, I talk to them on the sideline, the most I can do is see things that they don't see and sell them When it first happened, did you feel like you were, you were absolutely done with the season? Um, at that point, I, I don't know, I can tell you, there's a lot of things going through my mind at the time, so I wouldn't just say I was done, I was just going to face something like that. Is it somewhat comforting, you know, that at least the team did get the Pac-12 style championship in your last game? Oh, it was great. It was, it was great. In fact, the doc came back and told me that, uh, yeah, we did win the game, and I was excited for that win. How hard was it watching the, the Pac-12 championship game and not being able to be out there? And... Oh, it was hard. It, it, was, it was very hard. Myself, I was, you know, I feel like I pretty much the time I left the team down, but, you know, they told me to just keep my head up and, uh, you know, just be there for him, and I'm, I'm there for him no matter what, and from my own field off the field, so that's what I was there for. A pretty good consolation prize. You get to go to San Diego. What are some memories of watching uh, you know, that game during bowl season? Uh, I don't know. I'm looking for trying to play anymore. I don't want to watch it. So. <laughs> As a kid growing up watching watching the bowl games around Christmas time. Oh, to be honest, um, um, at that time, I, I was pretty much watching like, a professional game. Not, I don't aim too much watching a lot of college games, so I watched a lot of professional games. It's great to play. To play. Sorry, you're staring at the What exactly did you do to him? Um, I actually, I, I don't know what happened. I just know I just remember that I was running a ball and this guy took a shot on me. And from that point on, like, something didn't feel right. And it just actually just told me, like, you're done. So you can't even put ice on it. But then again, they, they said this is going to go to the back. So you never had surgery? No, no, no surgery, no. Have you ever had an injury that's caused you time? No, this is my first time, man. Wow. Three of said, you know, all the way up to my senior year in college. And, First time you get hurt. It sucks. I know you're about team first, but how strange is it you you were four yards shy of a thousand when you got hurt? Well, that's something the men online talk about a lot, you know. They, they, they be upset, like they be joking around, I'm like, man, you just four yards away. And I like, I feel like if I would have finished the game, guys, I, I would have had four yards. We would have had it So it's just something we always talk about, it, and they just like you can you know, get yourself back in and come get the four yards again. Aaron, I missed the beginning of it. What, what are your hopes for playing in the bowl game? Oh, just a day-to-day -day thing. Mm -hmm. You know, right now I'm walking on it. Right now when I go back, I'm just going to do more treatment on it and ice it more than just throw it over. It's every day. Not only the 1,000 yards, but you were also in position to break some scoring records. Was that disappointing? That I mean, you can, you, if you play, you can still get them, but was it disappointing that you weren't in position to, to break those? Um, Kind of, but not really. You know, I still have a chance. You know, there's something I'm just, you know, stay positive on and just... You know, that's something I'm going to use to do is pretty much get myself back together and, and get healed and feel like I have a chance to get it. Now, a lot of players in your position who have a chance to go on and play pro football would, would weigh your, your off-season workouts with this. Is that a factor in all this and you getting back on the Um, I wouldn't say that. Um, I just feel like, um... Your priorities to get back if you can play, get 100%. It'd be great. That's all I can say about it. My main thing is right now, just day to day, just get, get back here, man. That's all I'm looking forward to. That's all I'm looking forward to. How long have you been on crutches? Um, three days. Three days. I'm off crutches. I'm feeling good. You know, walk slow, but yeah, I'm walking. <laughs> He's walking in pretty much on crutches, so that's, that's a good thing. This will be your last game as a Sun Devil. How do you look back on your two years here at ASU? Oh, I had fun. Uh, I met a lot of people. You know, I got close to a lot of people. that like, got together with the team and became my family. Uh, pretty, uh, pretty much at the end of the I leave here, I still go contact these guys and 
keep in contact with my coaches and staff and everyone, so it might be a Sunday. It's special for you to finish your career against a team from Texas since you are from Texas? Yeah, that's, that's another thing I get a chance to do. You know, pretty much prove, prove another Texas team that, hey, you missed out. <laughs> What are your reflections on the, the, uh, your great performance in the bowl game last year and the teams? It seems like this coaching staff knows how to get a team ready to play in a bowl game. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yes. I feel like I, I, I'm preparing for a bowl game is great. You know? mm -hmm. We're kind of late on the guys, but you know, we just need to work. We've got to get a time and stay conditioned and working out. It's just a good one. It's the best thing to do. When you committed to Arizona State, you probably had like a certain set of expectations what to accomplish after two years. Looking back at those two years, did you exceed expectations in your opinion or just or just did what you're supposed to do? Well, every day I'm going to just tell myself I need to be better than what I am. But it's, it's great looking back at the fact that I have a lot of touchdowns. And, you know, I pretty much caught a lot of passes. You know, I wasn't looking forward to catching. Mm -hmm. Had an opportunity to, you know, get a thousand yards rushing. That was, that was great. You know, last year I, I wasn't close by it. I feel like this year was a big change, you know, over, over summer workouts. And mm -hmm. I'm close to getting 1,000 uh, yards. Marion, talk about the way DJ performed in your absence in the Arizona game and his two big touchdowns against Stanford. Oh, yeah, he did a great job. You know, I, you know, I, I tell him, I tell him a lot. I, hey, you play good. You know, don't pretty much be over yourself. Don't be upset or anything about what this. You know, just think positive. You, you played a, you played a great game. You, you came in, you, you did a good job, and Deontay came in and did what you do. You know, you know, you know, a lot of guys that they get pretty good at overall as good as a running back. So I just tell them just to stay positive and just you know, keep me happy. So, you know, and the doctor said that it goes well when you meet me on the block of that. Yes. That's what I'm going to do. You know, I can play the game. Like I said, it's just been pretty much just doing what I'm trying to do. You know what I have pretty much said? Coach Norvell said at the banquet last night they call you Mr. Touchdown here. How do you like that moniker? Oh, well, it's great. <laughs> it's been a lot of the team I said a lot too, but I'm used to it. Man. It's something I, I just do. I just find a way to get names up for my team.